Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's March and for today's video, it's going to be a video that we all need. Don't deny it. So as you may have read from the title, this is going to be about how we can all manage our online spending, online shopping. I'm going to be sharing eight tips in this video that have helped me throughout the years online shopping. So based on some my experiences, ko, I am not in any way a financial advisor or a pro shopper. But with these eight tips, I was able to manage my online spending and overall be happier and be more, of course, sustainable. And if you're not fully committed to chopping down your online spending, mapalazada man yan, or mapashopi, Zalora, then keep watching this video. You may pick up some tips that can still be helpful for you. So let's get into it. Okay, so for tip number one, we all know this favorite natin to. It's that four-letter word that that gets us every time. S A L E. So sale. Alam natin yan. Every month, may pasabog ang mga online platforms for sales. 11, 11, 99. So favorite natin yan. But we have to watch out for this, especially if you wanna manage your online spending. Kasi you're spending more on stuff that doesn't necessarily add value to your life. So for tip number two, it's kind of tied in with the first tip. So from on sale items, we also tend to purchase just in case items. So, ito yung mga bagay na hindi naman natin necessarily need or gusto ngayon, pero bibili natin siya because, like, you know, just in case. Just in case, kailangan natin siya for an occasion or kung may baka pupuntahan ka. But then sometimes, if you think about it, do you remember that last just in case item that you have? More often than not, they get stored away and they never really get used for years to come. So, be wary of the just in case items. For the third tip that I'll be sharing with you today is be wary of cheap items. So, syempre with these online platforms, alam natin na madami talaga mga mura dyan and nakaka-temp nga siya. Kasi mura lang naman talaga yung what have you got to lose. But then again, if you think about it, cheap items don't necessarily last and most of the time when you receive them, they don't look that good or they are shiny and brand new for a couple of days. But the quality degrades really quickly. And if you think about it, if you purchase a necklace, kunwari, na worth 35 pesos lang, and paulit-ulit mo siyang bibilin kasi palagi siyang masisira, eh mag-accumulate na din yung mga ginagastos mo for that item. So it's better to invest in good quality items that can last you years to come. Okay. And now for the fourth tip. So I have personally been a victim of this. So these days, madami tayo mga influencers and beauty, fashion people all around us. And it's very easy to see them on social media, di ba? So minsan, may meron talaga mga items na trendy items that you should be wary of. Remember that fluffy teddy bear jacket yung sobrang uso like I think a couple years back. Nasa na siya ngayon. So be wary of trendy items because that's what they are. They are a trend. So if you're going to spend on a trend, make sure that it is truly something you want. And usually kasi mga trends, parang after a couple of years, they truly like phase out. Remember shutter shades, the varsity jackets. The trend quickly fizzles out and you are left with a lot more items in your house and in your home and a lot of clutter and stuff that you won't necessarily be using anymore. So for the fifth tip, so na experience nila ba yung may gusto ka talaga item, gusto gusto man siya na sobrang tagal na. So I think this feeling of wanting you should also be a bit wary of, kasi most of the time we are made to constantly want stuff. So this is a bit more challenging because it has something to do with how you feel and how you think. So you really have to condition yourself into understanding what your needs and what your wants are. So there are times, you know, that we do want some stuff and it's okay to purchase things that are maybe cheap or maybe uh, just in case if it truly makes you happy. Happiness is also um, a need, right? Right? But to just be careful of what you purchase and what you add value to your life. For the sixth step, I think we all 
already know this, it's a common concept, but items that you don't necessarily need. Whenever we have impulse buys, you know, these are all emotion-based often, and we really uh, need to take a step back and try to evaluate if this is something that we really need right now at this moment, and if that's going to have a purpose when we add it into our homes. I personally have to have a lot of active items, meaning like a lot of the stuff that I have are constantly moving. I don't like to keep that much stuff in storage. It just means that it doesn't really have a purpose in my life just because it's not being used or it's not, it's not an active, quote unquote, an active item. Also, it's also nice to be cautious of the things that you add to your life, whether it's something that you need, because this is going to be a step towards sustainability, you know? And for the seventh tip, the items that you have don't necessarily dictate your value as a person. So sometimes we may feel that if we're not up with the latest trends, if we don't have the coolest or most upgraded gadgets, it demeans our quality of life or new self-esteem natin, na we feel natin that we are not up to par as everyone else. So just a gentle reminder that the items that you have don't necessarily dictate your value as a person. So it's about, of course, as we all know, your compassion, your kindness and your love and that can't be found in material things and for my last tip for you guys there is happiness in simplicity there is happiness in having a couple of things that you actually truly value I do believe that if you have a simpler and clean space in wherever you are residing then I also believe that you will have a better peace of mind and that your thoughts will be less cluttered so it's better to have a lot of stuff that are meaningful and are of value and they are aligned with where you are in your life or where you want to be instead of having a lot of clutter in your life that doesn't necessarily have a purpose and those are my eight tips for you guys on how to manage your online shopping or your online spending. Again, these are just tips based on my experiences and what helped me. It may not necessarily be helpful for you. So you guys do what makes you happy. As long as you're not harming anyone else, then you're good to go. But I do encourage everyone to be sustainable about the purchases they are making and make sure that they purchase with intention. Meaning, your purchases are meaningful full and add value to your life so that's it for today i'm so happy if you're still here thank you so much for hanging out with me and i will see you all next time it's funny when we talk that you're always so nice let me have my back you pull out your